next speaker is also a member of the European Parliament. I've seen her speak a number of times. I've never seen her opponents come off better than she did in any exchange. Today, I have only one wish, that she chosen, instead of a career as a politician, to be a lawyer. Because I would love to have seen her in that court today answering the American government and the British government over the extradition of Assange. Please give a huge welcome to Claire Daly. How in God's name am I supposed to follow an introduction like that? I think that's very unfair. Look, it's difficult enough to follow Mick, but I just want to say on behalf of humanity, on behalf of everyone, to all of ye who have turned out today in such large numbers. I know we've met people from Italy, people who travel from Switzerland, from Sweden. We know that as we are assembled here, there's people organizing in Dublin, in Brussels, for the first time in Oslo, and all around the world. Because we represent the voices of truth, the voices of freedom, and the voices of resistance. And that is why Julian Assange is in that court. Now we know that what is at stake here is not the life of a man. Although the life of a man is at stake. And that is incredibly important, and we never lose sight of it for a minute. But more than that, it is the defense of freedom of speech, of freedom of association, a stance against the criminalization of journalism. That is what we are here. And how absolutely outrageous is it that an exemplary journalist, and we heard the evidence in the court today, a journalist whose work in exposing war crimes, renditions, torture, criminality, resulted in those awful things being changed and stopped, that he's the one in prison, and the people committing that are walking the streets doing gigs for Israel, or whatever the hell Tony Blair does. So the chilling effect is here, we know that. They say if Julian is spent, sent to America, the chilling effect will silence other journalists. It has already been here for the past 12 years. So I think it is very fitting that we're here against the backdrop of the appalling atrocities and the live stream genocide in Gaza. We know that also where a civilian imprisoned population is being targeted, we also know the Ukraine war is going on without end because that's what NATO want. And I just want you to remind you of the words of Julian when he talked about the war in Afghanistan. And he said that these wars are about flushing the money from the tax bases of the US and the EU through Afghanistan and back into the bank accounts of the military industrial complex. It's not about winnable war, it's about endless war. How true he was. And therefore, that voice, that very special voice that he had is needed now more than ever because it's not just about silent the peace movement it's about, about journalism it is about silencing the peace movement so let's remember also that if wars can be started by lies peace can be started by the truth you're all here on the side of truth so is julian we'll be all here tomorrow and we will not rest until justice prevails